Today we're going to be talking about multi-color printing and its wastage. How much wastage is too much wastage and where do you draw the line? We're going to be using the Creality K2 Plus combo with the CFS system and we're going to use black and white PLA filaments. The reason why we're using those two filaments, black is the most difficult color to get out of the extruder when you're changing colors and white is the most susceptible to being influenced by other colors. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a few different ways of how you can slice your multicolor file and see how you can change your filament wastage and which way really works for you. I'm also going to be showing you guys the amount of wastage per gram per gram of print that you're going to be printing with. The first print that we have is with the standard settings from Creatly Slicer inside over here. So as we can see, we do have a standard XYZ cube printed and I painted it so that we can have two colors inside of it. Now, as you guys can see over here, I have it in black and white and I have it in red and white and the red and white really shows how susceptible that white is to changing colors. That is not white anymore. That is a weird shade of pink. And over here, we also have our purge tower and all of our wastage. So if I lay it all out on the table over here, to be able to get this print, I had to go through that much of wastage. And I do have the numbers up over here somewhere for you guys. So we have our standard colors and we're not quite happy with uh, all that wastage. So what can we do to combat this? Well, the first thing that we can do is get rid of that ugly little prime tower and take that away and have just the filament purging. How does that really come out? Advantages of this is if you're printing a really tall object, you don't have to print an entirely separate object for the color to change. Print one color all the way up until that's a change and, well, purge out what's left and swap colors. So in our slides over here, we can take out the prime tower and we're leaving the filament flushes with standard settings over here. And the result is a bit darker as to be expected because the prime tower is more filament coming out. We did have less wastage, but is it worth not having white in my print? I don't think so. So we took out the nasty prime tower. We have the standard purges, but my print's still not looking better. I guess the only thing we can really do is make that purge a little bit higher. So up in our flush settings for our filament, we can make this number higher. We're going to drastically make it a little bit higher over here to try and get a real difference in our print. We've taken away the prime tower. We've upped the filament purge and my print is, well, it's looking better, but I'm still not really happy with that. I don't quite like that these drastic things that we can change is not really drastically changing the print. It's quite weird that these are settings that you can play with, but the object is not really having much of an effect. That being aside, let's say that we have gray and black inside of here, then how can I make the wastage less? I mean, this much wastage for this much print still isn't efficient enough for me to be able to confidently say that it's worth printing just this little bit. Well, we can take this filament flush and we can put it inside the cube. Let's see how that looks. The advantages to this type of purging is that you can actually put it inside of your print. Now, obviously, when you have a larger print, it's going to be more successful because, well, larger infills is more purging. It's more filament going out until you get to the outside of your print. But for this case, we are going to stick with our 20 by 20 cube. Well, inserting our filament flush into the cube did actually brighten that gray up. We have a little bit of a mix of a whitish gray and black inside here. It does definitely look better. And we have a prime tower, a prime tower besides looking like it just came out of Charlotte's web. Doesn't look that bad. The print, however, I'm very impressed with all the attempts that we have done for this filament wastage. This has had the best result. There is still, however, one more thing that we can try. And what I ask you is, what would you say 
If I can get this print with absolutely zero grams of wastage, that's right, it is possible for you to have this print with no wastage. How does that work, however, I'm gonna show you right now. What you can do is replicate your object in the slicing program and you can right click on this and you can say in full purge and you can say purge into this object. This is going to use this object as its purges for the entirety of its print. Well, I'll be damned. Two little cubes, absolutely no wastage and this came out quite nice. Nice little shade of gray over there. The nice thing about this is if you are doing objects, you can always paint it afterwards. For example, let's say you're printing a multicolored dinosaur and you have a single color dinosaur, you can paint this dinosaur afterwards and you can still sell that. So theoretically, this is absolutely zero wastage because there's nothing really to throw away. This is by far the best gray that we've had inside of this multicolor print. It's still not white though, and that's not our goal over here. However, in terms of filament wastage, this is definitely the number one in terms of no wastage. How can I get that white though? Let's go back to our slicer where we had the two cubes inside there, and the one on our right is our purge cube, or our wastage cube we can say. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this exactly how it is, it's going to purge into that infill and purge into that object, but what I'm going to be doing is upping the filament purge to the maximum amount that I can on this side, and I'll up this side as well. This, in theory, should have a little bit of wastage with a significantly better print and still a really nice second print. So our journey brought us to this moment over here. Purging your filament wastage into another object and having a little bit of waste extra really did find quite a satisfactory outcome. 16 grams of waste for a total of eight grams of two prints. Well, I'll say that's quite a big winner over there. I'm quite happy that our whites are white, even in our wastage block over here, and our whites are white inside of our actual print. If we look at the comparison between with a little bit of waste and with no waste at all, there really is a night and day difference in this white. That is my thoughts on how you can do multicolor printing with the least amount of wastage possible. Like I said, this is up to you guys about how much waste is too much waste and where you draw the line of your filament bleeding that's colors. Obviously these settings can be tweaked even further and every machine is different and you guys will have to experiment with that. However, I really do hope that this video does serve as quite a useful guideline for you guys. You can find machines like the Creately K2 Plus Combo at www.3dprintingstore.co.za and while you're there, just know as well, we also provide training on printers as well. If you guys are interested in that, you can email us at sales at 3dprintingstore.co.za. That's all for me today. I'll see you guys next time.